Hey guys, this is Rusty from Collector Auctions again. I'm on the road today. I'm down in Williamsburg, Virginia, and we're getting ready to go to Bush Gardens, my wife and I, and we are going to look forward to having a good time, but it's a little hot down here right now. Heat index about 100 degrees, and so we decided to check into the hotel and relax for the afternoon, and we'll go to this evening when it cools down, or at least the sun goes down a little bit. But in the meantime, while my wife is taking a nice siesta, I'm going to go do some comic book shopping, and so I found this, uh, did a little search on the internet, see what's local, and I found a little shop, I believe it's called the Comic Cubicle, and it's right here in Williamsburg, and I don't know much about it, I didn't see a lot of photos of the store, so I don't know what to expect, but I'm going to go in, I don't know if I'm going to film on the inside, if I can, can I will, and if I don't, I will. Uh, at least come back and I'll show you some of the things I pick up if I pick up anything. We'll see. We'll see what kind of shop it is But uh, there you go guys Rusty's on the road today. I'll talk to you later. I'll see you in a bit Okay guys, I just got out of the comic cubicle here in Williamsburg, Virginia and had a good time. I met the owner, talked with him for a little bit. I actually, you just, if you're watching this now, you just know I just showed you some of the footage from the store. Uh, that was good. I asked him if I could, I met the owner, his name is Mark by the way, and I talked with him for a little bit, I asked him if I could film a little bit, told him I'd do a little YouTube show and he said that was fine. So I walked around for about 10 or 12 minutes or so filmed a little bit and just went through the store and then I started diving into the back issue bins and the wall books and all the new releases and trade paperbacks and everything so you know I had a good time in there and I ended up picking up a few things and uh, one of the one of the books is one I've been looking for I've been getting ready to buy and I'll show that off in a second here is when I flip the camera around so we'll talk about that in just a sec as soon as I uh, change camera angles here basically so hold on a sec and we'll get going here okay guys so i ended up picking up three books from the comic cubicle here and the first book i came across is a book that i've never had but i had all of the books leading up to it like the 10 issues or so before that and a few after that but here let me show it to you it is justice league of america number 200 you got george perez art there on the cover 
Uh, it's a book that I never had. I've actually, be honest with you, this is the first time I've ever seen this cover. Just never really paid attention to it and everything. And he had a ten dollar price tag on there, and it didn't realize. Look at that! It is a square bound book. And I, when I saw that, I kind of looked at it real, looked at it, and I'm going, "Well, that's actually a really nice shape for a square bound from this time period." So I just went ahead and picked it up. I was going to buy it no matter what because I kind of wanted to read the book and. I was a fan of those issues with uh, George Perez art and everything at that time. So, um, yeah, it'd be nice to end up reading, getting a book that I've never read, and uh, I think I'm going to enjoy this tonight. So that was that's just a fun pickup. But then, as I was going through the store and finally looking at some of the wall books and the and his display books and everything, I did find a book that I've been meaning to buy. I've had one copy. I wanted to get another one. The first one did not grade out well. It got rejected for a 9.8. I thought it was a real good candidate, but I wanted to get try to find another good copy. Uh, James Tinian is a, was a writer on this, and I wanted to get this book signed because this is the book that got me kind of back into DC Comics here a couple years ago. I had really stopped buying DC Comics except for two of my favorite books, which was uh, anything with the JSA, Justice, Justice Society, or the the Villains United Villains, the, um, what was that called? Oh, God, I always remember them as Villains United. It was the Secret Six with Catman, and oh, I'm trying to think, who else was in that? Uh, Deadshot was in there, of course, and I really enjoyed all those runs on those books. Those were the two books that I bought from DC. I didn't buy any of the main titles, none of, none of the Batman, unless one of those characters were in it, but I enjoyed those books. But this is the book that got me back into DC Comics. This is Dark Knight's The Batman Who Laughs, and I saw this image on the internet when this book came out, and I was like, holy crap. What is that? That This image right here, that cover image right here, that's where it got me back into buying Batman and into, well, mostly the Batman. I still didn't get in back into buying any Superman or anything. But this is what kind of got me back into buying DC Comics for the most part again. And I just absolutely love this. I love this story. I, I like this. I actually like these Dark Knights uh, one-shots much better than I did the metal death metal series. So anyway, yeah, so I ended up with another copy of that. Uh, he had a price tag of 15. I, basically, I just paid what he had on the prices on here. Um, he had 15 on this, and that's fine because I would have, whoops, I'm making a bad camera angle there. Um, I would have I would have paid that plus shipping to try to get one of these in in the mail. Uh, James Tinian is going to be in Baltimore here in a couple weeks at Third Eye Comics for a signing. So, like I said, I wanted to get this one signed. And then the last book I ended up getting, and I ended up paying 50 for it. And that's because this price, the book value has gone down. Um, and it's another James Tinian, and this, of course, is Batman number 89. This is the first full appearance of, of Punchline. And I've got this book... Don't. I had a copy of this, and I don't know what I. I think I might have gotten it graded. I'm not sure, but I. At the moment, I don't even know where it is. Oh goodness, I'm. I'm I have no idea where I did with it. But I've got this. I've got some uh, second prints of this. This is a first print, and so I picked this up, and I'm going to with the intention of getting this signed as well now. So those are the three books that I picked up from the comic cubicle here in Williamsburg, Virginia. And if you guys are in this area, um, I suggest you stop by, say hi to Mark. And it was a, it's a nice little, sh it's a little shop, but they've got um, a good collection of, well, it's a lot of new books, a lot of trade paperbacks, some wall books, not a ton of wall books, but there are, there's a, there's a good handful on the wall. It, if it piques your interest, I know there was a whole set of uh, Sandman comics up there too. There were some early, well, some John Byrne X Men that I I had all of them, so I didn't. I looked at a couple, but I didn't. I didn't end up picking those up. Um, trying to think what else they do have a bunch of back issues, and it ranges. So um, yeah, I just dig through, find books that you like. It wasn't a an huge amount of back issues, but. They still had a lot of a variety, and I, I really like that about the shop. So, guys, I hope you enjoy this video, and uh, we'll see you for the next show. 
Guys, take care.